In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a paper effect here in Adobe Illustrator. This is a pretty cool effect. It's simply some effects on a shape and you can resize this shape to be whatever size you want and apply these effects to any shape here in Adobe Illustrator. So let's open up a new document and we're just gonna create a rectangle. M is just a shortcut key for the rectangle tool and we can create a rectangle out here. Now I do not want a stroke on it, so I'm gonna get rid of this stroke right here just by pressing zero in there. And then on the fill, I want this fill to be a white but not quite a pure white. So maybe just bring it down a little bit. You can adjust these sliders if you add color or keep it along this left edge if you just want grayscale. So we're gonna add just a little bit in so that we can actually see the effect and it's not just pure white. So once we have that set up there, then we need to open up the appearance panel. So select your rectangle in the properties panel you can actually go to these three dots here to open the appearance panel. You can also go up to window down to appearance to open it up. Now in the appearance panel, what we need to do is add an effect to the fill. So this little FX button down here, we're gonna to go to the effect gallery. So these are rasterized effects. This is not a vector solution, but it is a way to add these effects to your vector objects. So the first one we're gonna add is under artistic, and then we're gonna find film grain. The film grain settings that I have are two for the grain and then 20 and 10. However, on my computer right now, I'm not noticing a difference when I move these highlight areas and intensity sliders. So you might need to play with that if I'm just glitching out over here and the intensity might need to be way down and adjust the highlighted area. But essentially, you want it to look like this over here in your document. So kind of some grain out here in the preview window just like that, hit okay. So we've got some grain. If you like that effect, you can keep that grain effect and just utilize that. However, if we add another effect to this fill, so I'm gonna go back to FX, effect gallery, and we're going to make sure we select our rectangle. If you see a tiny square, that means that you didn't have your rectangle selected. So rectangle selected, effects, effect gallery. Now there's another effect in texture called craculature, crack, cracular? I don't know what it's called. Basically, it starts with C-R-A-Q, okay? It's like a crack effect. The crack spacing, I want that turned way down also to two. Crack depth all the way down as well. The crack brightness, you can play with this, but likely if you have those two turned down, you won't really see the brightness on that cracking, I guess. And then hit OK. Now, the main thing here, we have film grain and then crackulature. Perfect. So now it just depends on the color of your rectangle. So you can scale your rectangle out to make the effect larger. And then we can double click our fill and we can add a little bit of color in and just kind of play with the coloring here. Uh, we can add a little bit of like that tan color in. So we have some tan color paper, hit okay. And there we go. Our paper effect is that easy. This should look just like the effect we had over here. You can see the color I had selected over here. I'm gonna copy it, F9, F9, F7. So if you want that exact color, then we can just double click here and paste in that hex code, F9, F9, F7, hit okay. And then there's the paper color I had selected. And if you wanna change the color, this works best if you stay within this select color square. If you were to come down from the edge of that text and maybe make a square, it works best in here. So if we select something like this and we wanted a blue-ish paper, we can hit OK. Now that paper's kind of blue, right? But if we go too far over, we'd start to lose the effects. Actually, that one worked out pretty well. But I, I will say, sometimes when you select certain colors, the effect doesn't show up quite as much. But in this one, in this case, it does a little bit. So we can definitely see some of those, those effects still uh, in our document. Now, one other thing that you can change here is if we go up to view, actually not view, if you go to document raster effects settings, we can change the resolution of our raster effects. This might actually change the effect completely. Let's find out. We're gonna go to high and hit okay. Now, of course, my computer's gonna think a little bit but because that raster effect is a much higher resolution, we actually, this looks this looks even better. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is even a better effect than what we had before. So I would recommend that because you don't want that effect to look blurry and pixelated. If you adjust that resolution, your effect is gonna be a lot higher quality. And in my opinion, this actually turned out really well. I was a little bit afraid that it was going to change how the effect looked. Actually, let's just paste in that 
same color there, um, a little bit too much, but depending on your CPU, you can see that even just changing the color of the paper there, that took a second for it to render out that effect with that new color. So it kind of depends on how good your computer is, how fast it's gonna render that. You could keep it on 72 and really work with your document a lot easier. And then before you export, you could switch it to the high 300 resolution, and that's gonna give you some really nice texture here uh, but that's just how to create a paper texture effect really quick and easy here in adobe illustrator